Well, next week is uh, Title Tuesday. The AW and NXT shows are going head-to-head. And they've announced for NXT, Carmelo Hayes with John Cena. He's going to the Performance Center against Braun Breaker with Paul Heyman. Roxanne Perez will be facing Asuka. And Cody Rhodes is showing up on NXT to make a major announcement, which is likely the Dusty Cup. And uh, that goes head to head with AEW, which has announced a bunch of matches. Well, they got a as well. lot. They announced a lot more than that, didn't they? Uh, those are the major matches featuring the other talent. Um, I thought they they. Well, um, AEW has six things. Yeah. We've got uh, Soraya versus Hikaru Shida for the women's title. We've got Ray Phoenix versus John Moxley for the international title. So John so Moxley I'm, is cleared and ready to go. I'm guessing that that they go back to to John Very Moxley. Likely. Very since likely. that was the since Ray Phoenix was never supposed to win, we have and he's banged up. We've got TNT Championship. We are both banged up. Number one contenders match. Well, I mean Moxley is is cleared from his concussion. Phoenix is. I mean, when you have to do an angle on Sunday to get him out of the match so that he's okay to do a match on Wednesday, I mean, well, he's, he's hurt. His back is shot right yeah. now. We have the uh, TNT Championship number one contenders match, Brian Danielson versus Swerve. Which is an interesting... Winner gets ma- Christian. Yeah, winner gets Christian probably, uh, I don't know, you think pay-per-view? Well, I guess, I guess they could do, the pay- do it on the pay-per-view. Yeah. Or maybe or maybe on one of the other shows earlier. And we got uh, Jay White versus Hangman Page. Which, which Jay White has to win. He sure does. He's uh, already announced as facing MJF at full gear. So, I mean, that's two straight losses for Hangman. Yep. yep. He's got to rebuild. Adam Copeland versus Luchasaurus yep. in his debut. And Chris Jericho versus Powerhouse Hobbs, who has joined Don Callis' family. So yep. that is the lineup thus far for Title Tuesday coming up yeah. next week. So it's going to be real interesting. I think that... Uh, John Cena will probably lead to NXT getting the win. You would think so, certainly. Yeah. Um, I think that, uh, um, well, I mean, it depends on... I mean, dude, they've come close without John Cena. And we're talking AEW going on their, uh, not their normal night. They haven't come close. They've, I mean, they've come close in terms of of uh, viewership. They've been up total viewers. Yeah, yeah. But, I mean, eighteen to forty nine, they haven't come close. Well, eighteen Dynamite's... to thirty four, eighteen to thirty four, they came close once, but they that and that was the goal. The goal has been for a long time to to win that one, and they still haven't. Although they they may with John Cena, they they have a real good shot at winning. I mean, um, yeah, I think I think that they're I think that that they should probably win. Especially because AEW is moving to a new night, but I mean, to give AEW credit, they promoted the hell out of the fact that they're on Tuesday. They I sure mean, did. Very often that is not the case, but they did. But I also expect heavy, heavy promotion. I don't of, think this of, dude isn't co- committed and and determined to beat NXT next week. They're going to try. I mean, yeah, no. The, I mean, both both companies are loading up, and the reason is is for this. I mean, it's 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 a real competition, and. Um, I mean the um, the thing I expect very heavy promotion of NXT on Raw next Monday, probably the heaviest ever because this Monday was pretty heavy. But I think next Monday will be well for sure. It'll be heavier. It'll be probably the heaviest ever, and um, I would expect more big big roster names on that show next week uh, than you know that will get announced on Monday. Tony Khan on attendance. Yeah, he sent out a tweet. You know, I mean, because I had mentioned you know like. Uh, Normally, when when a, a, attendances are, are announced publicly, it is not the paid attendance; it is the total attendance. And I mentioned that uh, you know the total attendance, as far as paid and and uh, you know the, the the usual. I mean, wrestling attendance that's announced is 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 it's many times. If it's WWE, it's it's just falsified. Okay, it's just, just you know a falsified number. But I mean, historically, the number you're going to get is paid plus paper that um you know that attends the show um so that number would be somewhere in the realm of eighty five thousand. i mean paid in paper was 85 and change and i just go like you know normally you would announce 85 and they announced 81 81 thousand thirty five. and um he said that the reason he did that was because if you announce total attendance 
uh, which would be, you know, the 85,000 number, then we don't set the record because the record is the Korean show. But if we announce paid attendance, we're setting a record. So he announced the record setter. And so, you know, that's what he said tonight. Um, so that was the reason. That's for Wembley, obviously. For the Wembley show, yes. Yeah. Yes, although there's been, you know, that's been cause of uh, a lot of people getting upset. Well, you know, there's been a lot of weirdness, I'll just say. I mean, there's a lot. Of, boy, boy, was today a weird day. I mean, just just the fact that uh, that Tuesday thing's coming up has got some people really weirded out. So there you go. I have no idea what that means. Oh, man, people are just, like, really weird about this Tuesday thing, you know, because they're going head-to-head, -head and people are, you know... I mean, it's 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 the tribal weirdos, but, I mean, it's like, uh, you know, it's it's just... It's it's like, you know, WWE's not trying to compete with them at all. It's it's They're just trying to get a better television rights deal and um, just all kinds of just weirdness. And AEW started it. They're moving, you know, they're moving on to NXT's night, and it's like there's a freaking... You know, this freaking baseball playoff game. It's got AEW didn't want to move there to to go there, but whatever. It's head to head. It's good for the you know. It's good for viewers. Both both companies are sending out big big shows, so the viewers win. And there's nothing wrong with the competition. The competition is fine. It's not like anyone's cheating. You know, they're trying to win a night, and that's that's fine. Uh, and both very very hard. Both are going. You know, I mean, they're loading up the shows, so that's a good thing. Um. But it's, you know, whatever. All right. Uh, the next Stardom pay-per-view. Yeah. Let me, get, let me get the line up there. So Stardom's got uh, October 9th show. So it's Monday, which is also the same day as the next big, the, the New Japan Sumo Hall show. So I should mention one thing. So in the New Japan Sumo Hall show, you know, the Just Five Guys group actually has four guys because Yoshinobu Kanemaru switched to House of Torture. So they announced that they will be adding... A fifth guy so they in fact will be, remain just five guys and not just four guys um, so that Sonata said that they will announce that on the Monday show uh, which is headlined by Sonata and evil among other matches for the uh, IWGP title and um, well you know it's certainly one of the least look forward to uh, IWGP championship matches in a long time so the stardom show is um, um, Tam Nakano against Natsuka Tora for the World of Stardom title. Uh, Mirai against, um, is it uh, Momo Watanabe for the Wonder of Stardom title? And then Kyrie's final match before going to WWE. Kyrie, May Mayu Iwatani, and Nanai Takahashi against Koguma, Azuki, and Sayaida. Um, so um, that's what's going on there. And um, I'm trying to remember what else is on the. Um, but the uh, you know the the New Japan show is pretty loaded. They got uh, Okada, Tanahashi, and Ishii against Josh Alexander and uh, Chris Sabin and Alex Shelley uh, for the trios title is uh, one of the big matches. And Will Ospreay and Josh Alexander are going to be wrestling in two weeks on an Impact show in Cicero, Illinois. Um, it's actually the day after Bound for Glory. So if Josh Alexander beats Alex Shelley at Bound for Glory, he will defend the title in a TV match against Will Ospreay. And if he doesn't, then you just have Josh Alexander and Will Ospreay and the Will Ospreay tour of every promotion in the world having incredible matches with their best workers thing. Um, Will Ospreay is also wrestling Mike Bailey on the pay-per-view, right? Yeah, on, at Bound for Glory. So, um, which could be, you know, one of the best matches in Impact history. Hey guys, did you love this clip? If so, you should join our channel. Just hit the join button and you'll have full access to every single show that we do. Wrestling Observer Live, Wrestling Observer Radio, The Brian and Vinny Show, all of them in full HD, full length, plus archives of all of your favorite shows. Click join today and don't miss out.